Holy sh That almost hurt me. This door just shut and hit me in the back when it slammed. That was not cool. Taking the no-till back to uh, to what we call main service, which is the place where we service the most. It's like a 36 foot or something cougar, horse cougar, maybe it's 28 feet. It's bouncing pretty good, so I'll slow down. Yep, and then I gotta drop off this hill here. As always, this is our main route with every piece of equipment here. So I'm gonna gear down. It's only a fourth, and then I got a jig break. You can see it cut on here, hopefully. Well, I don't see it cutting on. Jig break right here ain't on. There, now it's on. That's good. Now the whole thing, you see it turning on. That's all Jake right there. It's a steep little piece right here. She's coming down pretty good. Try to go straight through bottoms like that. And I gotta cut between these uh, fence posts, these trees right here. It's not that wide of a piece of equipment. The radio, this is an add-on, this is an add-on, that's an add-on, that's an add-on. I think down there, that's an add-on. Somehow you could probably run it all from this. We don't exactly want or know how to do that. So, yep, it's a separate system. It's like rate control, uh, covers logging, things like that. This turns on the uh, the rodent snuffer. And this turns on the fertilizer and it's your section control. This controls the raven. This is the raven. Raven systems, if this goes bad, I'm gonna tell you right now, you gotta send it back to China. They're gonna look at it and then they'll send it back to you when it's done. These are like $10,000. I don't know if that makes sense. Doesn't make sense to me. So I'm cutting up this way, main service up here. Look at this tractor. Tires on one side, tracks on the other. Okay. Nobody knows what this is. Gary's up in the house size bulk tank from Canada, Manitoba. I eh? got up in here. Crescent Ridge. Look how much we gained there. Damn, that, that looks pretty damn good, really. Nothing ham. Cunningham. Seeding has begun. Seed wheat behind me. This is farming. It's scary. Yeah. That's our no-till drill, so we gotta fill it with fertilizer and seed. Let's go. We're 91 acres worth of mix. Pull out of this is 1,200. So we're filling the seed part, putting the wheat 
into the no-till drill and then I gotta once I get done I gotta put this mixture this liquid mixture into that back tank and then we'll be ready to go it for a certain amount of time and then this scale Benefit cards. 
It never occurred to me to blame my family for life being so damn hard. I should have paid attention back when I was in school. That I could figure up the text. I would know a lot of facts. I missed the class where they taught the rules. I was memorizing capitals. I was in the spelling bee. I must have skipped the part where they taught the art of private equity. I was selling chocolate bars. I had a disorder. I was cutting up a frog. Got lost in the fog. Learning how to play recorder. If you only worked a little harder. a little harder uh-huh. If you worked a little harder uh-huh. If you worked a little harder And you'd have a lot more So the shame and the blame's on you For being so damn poor It ain't the banks And it ain't the taxes It ain't the payday loans And high rent homes And predatory fees Practices, wave your dumb flag, whatever it means. But you should ask yourself when it comes to health of the poor, really all that free if you worked a little harder. Ha ha, if you worked a little harder. Ha ha, if you worked a little harder, you'd have a lot more. So the blame and the shame's on you. For being so damn poor